Number one. Fog Piercer is a deck builder roguelite that invites you to construct and upgrade your train while navigating a post-apocalyptic world filled with bandits. Your train serves as your deck, with each carriage containing unique cards that influence your gameplay. Positioning is crucial, allowing you to manipulate your enemies, causing them to attack one another, pushing them aside, or even crush them under your wheels. As you progress, you'll unlock new train combinations for more powerful effects. Tactical decision-making is important, as you'll need to choose your path wisely to reach your train's final destination. Stations along the way offer opportunities to heal or acquire new carriages, helping you rebuild and grow stronger after each challenging encounter. You can wishlist Fog Piercer on Steam. Number 2 You guys keep saying you love seeing plugins, and I'm sure you're going to love this one. Embed Game is a recent add-on that allows you to finally embed the game window into the Gato Editor. This means no more window overlay blocking you from the editor, allowing you to make changes in your inspector or even in your scenes before switching back to the new Embed tab. The add-on was a labor of love as part of the developer's own game Spirebound, and they were kind enough to release it for free to the public. You can check out both the add-on and the developer's game on itch.io. Number 3 Firebelly Games has been featured before on the channel with one of their own games, but they just released a new Udemy course that might be of interest to some of you, because it's all about C Sharp. You'll learn how to create a complete grid-based puzzle game using Gato 4.3 and C Sharp by diving into grid-based mechanics like placing buildings, updating grid states, and getting data effectively. The course covers essential Gato fundamentals, including scene composition with various nodes, signal handling, and scripting with custom resources. You'll also explore the new tile set and tile map layer features, as well as guidance on publishing your game, designing user interfaces with containers and custom themes, and implementing save and load functionality using JSON. And again, it's all in C Sharp. Number four. Number four resonated with me probably because I'm a dad of two myself, but also because the art style is about my level of artistic ability. Camille and Laura is a heartfelt point-and-click narrative game that explores the joys and challenges of parenting through the eyes of Laura. You're a single mother navigating her daughter Camille's first week of elementary school, and this pivotal week is filled with daily tasks and responsibilities as Laura strives to be the best mother she can be while managing her work and her home life. The game offers an honest reflection of the realities of adult life, balancing fun and whimsical moments inspired by children's shows with the feelings of isolation and the grind of daily routines. Featuring charming, hand-drawn graphics, players engage in point-and-click interactions, making choices through dialogue options that lead to branching paths. Developed solo with the support from the Canada Council for the Arts, you can check it out on Steam. By the way, if you're looking to make your own game in the Gato Engine, I'm building a library of tutorials on this channel, including an FPS series, a deep dive into Gato's user interface system, and small mini tutorials like my Realistic Water series. Get the recent tutorials by subscribing, or watch them early and grab the tutorial project files exclusively on my Patreon. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Sea Quest Dungeon. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game of the Awards at the end of the year. And a reminder, just because a game doesn't win their week, doesn't mean they can't appear in the awards. Number 5 Finally, in maintenance required, you step into the shoes of a computer technician tasked with the debugging Edumon, an edutainment game designed for elementary school students. Reported to have some minor bugs, your mission involves exploring the game world from start to finish while collecting items, battling a variety of school-related, parent-approved monsters. But something doesn't feel quite right. As you navigate the map, you'll engage in battles, solve puzzles, and check game files for potential corruptions or glitches affecting the gameplay. Part QA sim, part horror, you'll need to stay on your toes to finish the test. <laughs> 